This video is brought to you by Diamond Pacific Tool Corporation. Diamond Pacific is America's favorite diamond tool, wheel, and lapidary machine manufacturers. For nearly half a century, Diamond Pacific has set the industry standard for diamond lapidary equipment. Join the majority of professional lapidaries and choose Diamond Pacific products such as their Nova Wheels, Pixie, Genie, and Titan Gem Makers, as well as their wide selection of other high quality lapidary diamond products. Check out Diamond Pacific today and find out why they're considered America's premier diamond lapidary tool manufacturers. Oh gosh. Oh, it has a platform and everything. <laughs> Looks like some kids came and busted some teeth off. Yeah, of course. They've made a nice place to lay back without hurting myself though. Let me take a picture in it. I wonder if it's a real casting. The Megalodons are probably that big, right? At least. Oh, there's, I think there's probably <clears throat> The teeth are getting expensive. A guy at the Denver show told me because of the Meg movie. And now there's another Meg movie coming out. And I guess it's probably kids I that love it. Uncle Richie said that he finds them, or people have found them at least over at Venice Beach. For some reason. I don't think these are real teeth. The way it sits in the golf. So many shark teeth wash up that once you get used to looking for the shape, you can just walk down the beach and there's one, there's one, there's one. Like mostly little baby teeth. Yeah. But sometimes yeah. you get a good one. I think I've only found the little ones. I brought home like a whole little jar full last time and ones I found. Super cool. Huh? Turtle carving. You see a lot of these made out of like ironwood. These are clay, right? No idea. I think they're clay and they look like wood. Starfish. Probably do well outside compared to the wood ones. Ooh, look at the starfishes. Do you know your starfish? No, not anymore. This baby one's brutal size. Starfish have mouth butts, right? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. I should get one and inlay it with like a bunch of turquoise or something. Hey, brother. Can I trouble you to come tell us what kind of starfish these are? There's not like a... These guys are called five finger starfish and that's actually um, bleached. This is actually their a natural one for you. Oh, oh nice. nice. Okay, yeah. So that's actually the natural. Oh, cool. Are these from Florida? No, no, that, this stuff comes from all over the world. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. I think the blue color better. Is this a uh, spiny oyster shell? Is that what that would be? Which guy? These ones. Uh, those, uh, just sort of uh, a scallop, not an oyster. Nice. Yeah, similar. Do you think the color goes through the inside? Um, I would assume so, because it's, they've actually already been separated. They get um, the clam out. And then they glue them back together. So I'm gonna say that they they probably die in when they're separated. 
Yeah. Very cool. A, a thin line of glue in there. If you drop it in some hot water, it'll pop right back open. Oh, awesome. What are these from? Let me see there. That's a black Murex. It's so cool M -U -R -E -X. looking. M-U-R-E-X. Do you think folks eat them? Yeah, yeah all these are um, farm raised for food. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Look how pretty these are. So to make patterns, you just like carve away little bits of the colored part of the shell? Or is that natural? I think it's natural. Wow. But in Mexico especially, these types of shells, they'll um, carve away, then put little slices of turquoise and stuff. Oh, look, these ones are carved. I just busted out of my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> little sharks. That one's little palm tree. That's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. For how much? Six dollars, yeah. They're probably so, so good. Does 5, of them in a day. Oh, you gotta wear a respirator for sure because all the strychnine and stuff. <clears throat> what is this? Crucifix fish. Mm -hmm. What a trip. I'm gonna get her something that I can put in silver. She doesn't like. Uh... I might want one of these. Oh yeah. So that's how they did these ones, isn't it? Or they kind of laid on. It looks like. I think they carved. The back is carved away. Yeah, it's probably brown. The shell is brown. And then they carve away, and it's white underneath the brown. I beg your pardon, sir. Yep. Do you think that a lot of these shells are coated in like a clear coat? Um, no, some of them are polished. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of work. This one's super fragile. Oops. <laughs> I mean, it says don't touch them. <clears throat> yeah, for real. <laughs> These are super cool. I would use. Where underneath there's like that silvery shiny, like. Mother of pearl looking stuff. Must just be naturally under the brown. Yeah. I think. Oh. It's gotta be, huh? Or pink. No, I don't know. I really <laughs> for four dollars. Right yeah, for four dollars that's so much work to carve all that shell. I know it's shell's super duper soft. But like for four bucks, that's awesome. <laughs> The starfish. I wonder if they're made in Mexico, like carved in Mexico. 
or probably carved wherever the shells come from. Look at these guys. Cookie, that's so cute instead of a sea star, a sea cookie, the little tiny fat ones. Huh. What's the backside look like? It's hollow, isn't it? Yeah, it's another butt now situation. My friend like sea star. Uh, does a lot of hiking in New Mexico. And he found an old Native American like seashell trade button. Had two holes in it. And it came all the way from California to New Mexico. Someone just threw trade. Mm -hmm. What do people do with the urchin spines? Besides just looking at them. Oh. Yeah, you can. I see a lot of these beads at gem shows and stuff. Actually, I have a whole bunch that Lynn gave me. Oh, yeah, that would make a cool bead. Back in the day, you would see like Native folks use this in their. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, use it for Native American like regalia, like the outfits, you know? Fertility regalia. Really nicely done. I, when I lived here, I didn't do a lot of shell art at all. I never had a shell collection or anything. I regret it big time. I would find some on the beach and keep them and then they'd get lost. Um, you know, like old, it's very nice. That would make great inlay for like an instrument. Ruben Medina has used the yellow abalone for his fingerboard inlays on his instruments i don't know if that's what that is but looks really similar is that an abalone oh that looks like oh that's what those noises are wow that's pretty can we just try to cut that in perfect circles and not break it you know a lot of times to get a perfect circle um, they don't look perfect, but they look really close. You just have like a drill that has a s core. Uh -huh. It's hollow, you know. But I just get like that shell. Those... Like that's the kind you can like plate. At, yeah, like, like, that's. To be able to cut it and put a hole in it. Maybe they stack a whole bunch up on top of itself and then drill it that way. Is it a rock? It's painted it's seagulls. Sea beans. I love sea beans. <laughs> Weird, greedy, Do we have any seeds inside? It is the seed, huh? They're like greedy hearts. Is this the sand dollar? Yeah. People do. I like the sand cookies better. Sand cookies are so fragile. People do and lay these and stuff and put them in rings and bracelets, but you have to stabilize it first. Yeah. Pump it full of resin so that it won't just break on you. Fifty cent starfish, that's such a good deal. <laughs> They look like all grown up. Mm -hmm. The tiny, tiny, tiny little holes through it. Oh wow, yeah, it's super porous. Yeah, not um today, but after the Denver series. Look at that. Eighty nine bucks for that beautiful organic red thing. <laughs> It's tough to see on the GoPro because it doesn't focus very well, but like little straws that kind of attached on top. Mm -hmm. This looks so soft so when I put my hand on it, it hurts. Really? Yeah. It's like prickling, prickling, hard. 
sixty dollars. I wonder. Yeah, I've never seen a real reef. Hurt. With my own eyes. It looks like a pool. It does say everywhere. <laughs> the cluster coral. It's beautiful. Got some little red things growing up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw it. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a few really cool pieces in there. I was already digging in there. I can't help myself. Forty bucks for this cool sponge thing. I wonder if there's like coral shows just for coral for people who buy and collect coral. Buy, sell, and trade. It has to be a scene. I mean, this is the only shop like this that I know of here. I used to come here when I was a kid. One hundred and seventy-five for this butte. That's a little blue or gray. Maybe just my glasses. Could be just gray. hoping to get a Baroque Pearl here, maybe a couple of them, but they don't have any. And this conch, the magic conch. Here's a little guide. This thing looks older than me. The magic conch. I know, you want to go look at them? Yeah. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Amethyst Rutile Quartz. Sodalite Smoky. Amazonite, it looks like there's a few other things here. Where the heck is the Rutile? Because I didn't see no Rutile in here. A lot of these are dyed agates. But I did see a really cool piece of amethyst in here. It's always so funny when you see a grown person digging through the kitty like rock box. <laughs> and just like putting them on the side and about to buy a bunch of them, you know? I think it's outside of a geode. Like this. It'll look like this. When you pick it up, these people take a little hammer and they bust it open. It's a little crystal world inside. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I've become. <laughs> Should we open one? Should we buy one and crack it open? Yes. I would. I have my card in the car. No, buddy. I'll buy it. We'll buy it. But for the content, for the clout. Just kidding. Nobody's going to watch this anyway. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's buy it and give it away. Yeah. But we're gonna crack it open. Okay. Let's go ask the dude. And then we'll dig through this some more. I don't think so. I have a mallet. This is the best flyer. I think it's the weight of it I like. It's nice, heavy, hummage height, beat necklace. Quit hogging the child's rock box. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Name's Knight. This is Adventurine. They say it's the luckiest stone. Yeah, You'll see a... They don't have pictures. Rutilated quartz. That must be a little... This mm -hmm. is called Unakite. So this is a quartz that's just not clear. It's rose quartz. I think it's pinkish. There's a little piece of amethyst. But like good rose quartz, it would make something out of it would be like clear pink? No, it would be like a really dark pink. It oh. sometimes it would be clear. If you cut it thin, it can get even more clear. Oh, I 
I've never seen through to the sparkles before. Or is that just hidden making it look sparkly? Let me see. No, this is compressed hematite. Are you squitting me over there? <laughs> yeah, where it was a geode. Yeah. There are a lot of geodes here. We're gonna crack one. There's iron geodes, and we cracked it, and there was no crystals in it. This is dolomite with little dendrites. Hogging it from the child. Go away. Oh, sorry, Ryan. Go away. I don't want to do that. That squid is a hair puller. Little white, veiny ones. Yeah, it's small agate. Little pieces. Little of agates are stripy, and jaspers are spotty. No, there's no like figuring that you can really. It's <laughs> it's, that's all there ever is. <laughs> All right, I feel bad for the kid. All right, come no, on. I don't in. want to use it. Are there purple geodes? Uh, yeah, little amethyst geodes. A lot of them come out of Mexico. Is that squid on me? Maybe. I can feel him. <laughs> I would hide this thing from you if you ended up on it. I kind of want a two ninety nine bag full of hematite beads right now. Do it. Cool. They say it's good for the blood. <laughs> There was a piece in here that almost looked like the little pitalite like my thing is made out of. Where'd it go? My friend had a purple view. It was like this big and there's so many purple pieces in here. Was it solid purple? No, it was like purple with like white spots and stuff. Mm -hmm. it was Ooh, a little tiger die. A lot of times they die them. It's like really light purple. <laughs> I miss my rock collection, I think is what's happening here. Ooh, that's a cute little piece. You're too old for this, for this box. <laughs> I disagree. Smell of the fingers after you touch those things. No, I'm good. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy looking dolphin. Yeah, they're really hard to cut. Even though they're not as hard as other things, it's pretty hard to cut. And I definitely would not be able to polish this for $3.99. It's just so hard, it eats away at your machines. Oh, uh, I can if you're not good at it. But a lot of people have this vibrating thing and they just lay the little slices on there and it does it by itself. Oh, vibrating flat fiber lap. These are cool. These are probably made in Mexico. We can dish out a whole bunch of these little soapstone figures really fast. A lot of people are familiar with like the Peruvian owls and like the frogs and all the other stuff. But these are cool Florida figures. Is that a platypus or an otter? Are there platypus in Florida, Ryan? Uh, I don't think so. There's otters. Getting gator, right? Yeah. Oh, is there more than one kind in yeah. here? Well, it looks like this box is just gator. Yeah, the two are oh, okay. Buffalo Bobs. All right, there's barbecue, Ryan, or Cajun style jerky. Dude, get the Cajun. You want one, David? Not at all. <laughs> but I will have some of his. What flavor did you get? Uh, barbecue. Good. I don't think you'd like You're the Cajun. The Cajun's not for everyone. Actually, pretty good. I think it's called raw, right? Uh, it's called raw. Nice. <laughs> I had one of these main for Danny card. It says uh, like Willow or Ryan's fishing biting or something like that. It was definitely more than ten dollars. Really like that inlaid shell there. Ooh, those rings back there are cool. Abalone.
These I really like genuine pow pale shell rings. It is made of natural pow shell. How do you pronounce that? That the shell P A U A? Oh power. Power shell. It's made of natural power shell. Suitable for an ornament. I can't read. Anyway. We'll get two of these. And, and give one away to you fun folks out there. Very crazy affordable for handmade shell goods. It's adjustable, definitely a base metal, but still really fun. It's got that power shell medicine. Have you been here before, Brian? No. I used to come here when I was your age. I think I've been here once, at least. Maybe two or three times. <laughs> Florida. Bag of beach. You think you can find little, like, you think there's some white claw floating around inside of the sand there? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't buy this, but I, th I think it's adorable. Yeah. And you never want to open it. And when this thing is like 60 years old, it just it just keeps getting cooler and cooler and cooler. It's a giant uh, sandwich bag to go to the beach. It's not the same because the, <laughs> the packaging is the product. <laughs> like kept the wedding in between, basically. There's a little perforation though. Crazy. That nature This almost looks like sea turtle shell. It does. Sea turtle shell became like outlawed in America in 1968. <clears throat> but uh, in New Mexico, a lot of native folks cut it and carve it. Hmm. It makes the best guitar picks in the world. The bluegrass guys love them. They sell for like a hundred dollars or more. I got a bunch of um, sea turtle myself and I used to make picks and I just stopped using them because I got so sad when I would lose a hundred dollar pick, you know? <laughs> well, that's thin. The biggest hole in a video I've ever found at the beach is like that big. Is it from like a creature? Getting in there? I think it's from the inside of the shell. It's like a shiny part of the inside of like just a shell. I really like these. I wouldn't mind trimming up a piece and maybe making some little cabs out of this stuff. It's already so nicely polished. I can kind of see the work marks. Almost little lines and facets in the shell. I wonder if they just tumble them in like a rock tumbler with like a soft media or are they really like polishing them with a Dremel? Probably work super fast, but make a huge mess. These almost look like little cactuses. Little peyote button. We had a little peyote button growing in our in our house and one of my friends must have stole it. <laughs> Ooh, sponge. Is it real loofah? That's a it's uh, organic, right? It's like a it's a creature. Mm -hmm. Are they called the loofahs a loofah before they're dead? No. Yeah, I'm crazy impressed by the prices. It's, but then again, maybe it's because 
Florida and we don't yeah. get it. We're like, oh, shells. <laughs> Florida is actually super affordable compared to other states for sure. Hey boo boo, oh, we should make you I bought a taco for like less than two dollars. I was tripping out. Mm -hmm. What's up buddy? Hi. Give me five. Oh, David. Down low. Hey, Too slow. Yeah, ooh, that's tough. Not impossible. Are these the ones or are they painted? They're painted. I can do it. If you want, I have the. T I actually brought the tools down here to Florida. Are you using a Lacroix bag? It looks like a Lacroix bag. No, it looks like it's, a koozie. It is a koozie. It's to cover the GoPro lens because you can't change the lenses on the new one. But look what it says. It's for a sunglass company. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my girlfriend. Is sponsored by that company. Is this real? Yeah. It's like a sponge. It is a sponge. Yeah. People wash sponge their sponge. bodies with it. Maybe old makeup and stuff. Sponge Some really cool voodoo witchy woman taking off her charcoal and lapis powder makeup <laughs> with a sea sponge. They're all real, buddy. This almost looks like purple opal or Tiffany stone. You know, I bet you can eat it like cereal. Just put pour some milk into the starfish. I think I'm gonna get one of these and cut it, make something nice out of it. How was the driving range? Oh, you did good. Nice. I've never once hit a golf ball with a golf club. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, I gotta get one of these. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna cut some of this up. Maybe use some backing formula to make it nice and stiff. It's already polished, so I'll just cut the sides. Are these bobble heads? No. But they are shell. No, I haven't. That's so funny for four dollars. That's super cute. Can't even get lunch for four dollars where I live. <laughs> These are super cool. Four bucks. I think it's a real color. I really don't know though. I know nothing about shells. Outside of like spiny oyster shell, I know. Kind of had the feeling that those weren't spinies. Figured I'd ask. I feel a little silly asking them. Yo, look at that. Oh, geez. <laughs> you gonna get them? $16. That's not bad. <laughs> you want it's easier than cutting the head off, drying it out. Taxidermy is tough. Is this real? Yeah, it's real. Yeah. Have you ever eaten gator tail at the fair? Really? We should get some and share it. But what about alligator beef jerky? These are cool. These are even cooler. Put all kinds of fun stuff in there. That is just so cool. Ooh, we should get something and give it away. Maybe I'll get something, cut it, and then give it away. Maybe that purple stuff.
Korax shark teeth, 65 million years old. These are so funny. My good friend Shodan had a pet rooster that died protecting his two uh, chicken wives. And when the, the when the rooster died, he, ch he chopped the feet off and he dried them out. And now he's like his Chuck's keychain. <laughs> that one. If he gets you, he'd rip it up. What would you name this? You have to name your alligator heads, right? Yeah, I would name it... Um, Chucky. I would name it, aren't you glad I'm not alive? Amos Moses. He, he can eat up his weight in groceries. Not even say I've touched the eyes of an alligator. No, they're not really the eyes. That's definitely replaced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think he's I think he's exhausted his sick if I remember correctly. Did you like it in there? To his other eye, his good eye is even his good eye is bad. Alrighty, that was fun.